All right, welcome back to another video here at the Sports Card Factory YouTube channel. 1988 Donruss we have here. Four rack packs. I always used to call them rat packs because they sound like that. Got all four of these for a total of $6. Comes out to $1.50 each, each row, I guess you could say, however you want to call it. But without further ado, let's roll into it. Let's get these, man, where, I don't know if I've ever opened rack packs before when I was a kid. It's been a while, but I didn't, I know they're hard to get in one fell swoop, but I didn't get into 1988 Donruss as a kid. Oh, uh, how'd I do on that one? I know they're pretty difficult to open. I definitely failed. No, we're two for three. Let's see. Oh, there goes the tail. Let's see if we can finish it off here. I'm trying to just get them all out. So, this crazy. <laughs> Bear with me. Lord have mercy. All right, we made it. Like I said, I was just trying to get them all out. So. We don't have to deal with all this crunchy noise of plastic, but there's a few decent rookies in here that we're looking for. Uh, condition of these cards is going to be unknown. I think it should be all right within these rack packs, but um, yeah, we got Roberto Alomar rookie card, Mark Grace rookie card, the big one, Tom Glavin's rookie card in here, uh, a few others pitchers and well-known 90s players but um let's just get started very iconic uh kind of <laughs> back in the day retro checkered background wally joiner i'm gonna put some of the big names and then our hall of famers down in the background bob welch but yeah this i didn't collect too much of mike schmidt Hall of Famer there. Let's see. Wally Joyner, I don't think, is the Hall of Famer, but he was a name. At least to be uh, on a highlight reel. So, Tony Pena. Man, that y'all going to hate me whether... Tony Pena, Tony Pena. Is he a Hall of Famer? Oh, man. You know what? They'll be close by with each other, but Tim Flannery. Oh man, that brings some memories right there. Being a Giants fan. I'll, I might, I'm going to put that one on the PC. Ben McGriff. And another one I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. I can't recall. But yeah, there's David Wells. I think this is his rookie card. There's a lot of short prints from number 600. This is 640. And a lot of errors in this set as well. So I think this is a short print rookie card. We'll put our rookies back. Well, let's just line them in a row. I mean, I don't think there's going to be too much. To, uh, I guess we can put all of our Diamond Kings as well. Um, we'll put our inserts down here, so try to reorganize all this. So this looks a little bit more. We'll make a little T in honor of Tops, which this is not. Todd Worrell, let's get back on the road here. Del Murphy, decent player. Oil Can Boyd, what a name, huh? Interesting. I don't know if I've ever... Oil... Is that... That can't be his real name. Oil Can? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. Oil Can. I'm setting him off to the side. Look at... I'm literally gonna put him... Well, you can't see it. But... Paul Monitor, Diamond King... There's not much inserts besides the MVPs, I believe... These puzzle pieces and the Diamond Kings. So, 
Our first rated rookie, Mike Campbell. I'm going to still put these rated rookies just because, I don't know, maybe someone wants their rated rookie card. You know, I obviously these players have deteriorated or never became legendary. Gary Gaetti, decent name there. There's another one we all know on the screen as well. Actually, we'll put Jay Buhner. The Jay Buhner? I don't know if is this his rookie. No, 1987. He was a fan favorite for the Mariners. I'm pretty sure that's the same one, right? It wasn't a senior. I don't know. That might be another one I have to look up. But Zane Smith, Mark Davidson, get through the rest of these. Will the Thrill. My absolute fan favorite personal player, PC collector of. So that's where that'll be going. Actually, let's put that in the right pile, I guess. Off to that over to the PC pile. All right, let's see if I can get these off of camera. I guess uh, open real quick. We got one open semi-successfully. Let me pull the cards out first. Um, got number two open. I wonder if there's enough cards here. Let's see, I think this is 180 cards within these four rack packs. I'm saying, I wonder if there's enough cards. Oh man, this last. We got it, we got it, we got it. To complete the puzzle so I'm not sure whether there's enough there sorry I was just looking at where my through my other wrapper I was a little lost on there all right Mike Young Don Carmen David Darrell Evans I'm losing it Glenn Braggs Mike Sosha was a decent name back in the day who is now Still currently the manager, was a longtime manager of the Angels. Man, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm losing my, we'll put him in the who, who knows lookup pile over there on the side. Still looking for that Glavin, still looking for Grace, Roberto Alomar. Um, there was 600 and I think I looked it up before, Tom Candiahi, great knuckleballer. Interesting. He's he's gonna be in the uh, minuscule pile over there of uh, I guess sentimental names. Terry Pendleton was another one that was pretty big back in the day there. But um, where was my train of thought going with these rookies? I I lost what I was what I was just talking about. I just I just got a sentimental hit. Benito Santiago, big player there. Doug Jones, a decent name there. Bob Brenly. And a no name of Matt. I guess you'll say that Mackie Sasser. Got a checklist. Lance Johnson. Rated rookie. Another puzzle piece. Alan Trammell. Is he in the hall? I think I want to say he is. Or he's, oh, he was close. I I would have to look that. Jeff Blouser was another big threat back in the day. What was he sh shortstop? I think for the Braves, he played. He always gave the Giants problems. I remember that. So, sure enough, got a Mark McGuire, Diamond Kings, Bob Kipler. He. Devin White, Diamond Kings. But yeah, I, I guess I was saying there's 180 cards. We should, we're halfway through now. They'll at least find one of these rookies to make at least the value. But it's it's fun just to go down memory lane, of course. You know what? I might just get out the, the knife. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna go bottom. 
I'm gonna try bottom first this time. Sorry. I got one. And I gotta do it fast. Oh. So close. Okay, let's see. We're getting there. I got one open. Let me get those cards out. And we, two was halfway. And three. That was a clean slice there. I know it's off camera, but now that corners are caught. Okay. That piece. And the final row. We'll get there, boys and girls. All right. We made it. I don't know if I'm going to have to flip all these around or not, but that might have been the worst one out of the four. Hopefully number four is the easiest. Jay Bell with the Indians. I believe that's his rookie card. I was kind of browsing all your Pittsburgh Pirate Buckos favorites. I'm going to have to... You know what? I'm just going to put him off to the side. I'm going to have to go through and look at all the rookies of... But I believe that was one name that did come across that was of memorance during the 90s. And I'm sure you're very Bonds. Sh should he be in the Hall of Fame pile? That is a controversial issue. Speaking of the Pirates, Bob Melvin for the coach in the A's now across the Bay. Of course, I'm not in the Bay, but... I didn't know he played for the John. Actually, yeah, he was a. Um, yeah, I remember Cuico and all the guys talking about him. So, beg my pardon there. Let's see what else. Where are Tony Gwynn? Certainly making that stack. Paul Monitor, I think he's. Wow, that is off centered like a mother, huh? Look at that. Let me try to get my thumb out of the way. Wow. Pretty rough there. Pretty rough. Just trying to see how bad the back is. I guess it's fitting. Um, Sid Fernandez, Don August, Kirk Wilkes, and Jeff. It's rounding out Jim Morrison of Not the Doors. Mike Kruko. There he is. Great announcer. Color broadcaster, I guess. Analyst, whatever you want to call him. Rick Honeycutt. Wow, he looks happy, huh? John Pawlowski. Definitely Polish. Rafael Pomero. Another big name. Where are those infamous Roberto Kelly? We are looking and not finding much because we are down to our last row or rack pack or whatever you want to we got one open two is a misfire three is a misfire okay let's try three is half there let's see if i can get this on camera sorry This one is a quarter. Oh, we got a, another sliding. All right. Just trying not to ruin these in case any of them are actually PSA worthy that end up being. I don't think anything that we've pulled is, is worth a submission at this point, but we'll see if we get our last row magic, as they like to say, which is not a pack, multiple packs. I guess it's a pack. Of three. <laughs> Enough said there. All right, let's kill it here. Final hurrah, Gary Carter. Rafael Ramirez was Keith Hernandez. And Ken Williams. Negative. I almost. Said. Wow. Look at that. Straight up onto the other card. Can you even see who it was? No. How do they get the back relatively decent when the front is so messed up? 
Wow, that is bad. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. How is, it, how is that card that bad and all these other cards are just not even close to being that bad? Interesting. Kevin Mitchell, great barehanded catch highlight there. Another Gary Thurman. I think that's the second one of the red rookies I have. Maybe not. Uh, you know what? I think I've actually skipped over some rated rookies. I'm not putting them in that pile. But I'll go back through the stack. There's Mark McGuire. Close to his rookie, but not so much. Jack Clark, Diamonds King. And a Stan Musial. I guess that's what the puzzle piece looks like. Actually, never. We got another. Oh, I thought that was. Looks like a Benito Santiago. I wonder if this is actually worth anything. I've never actually seen maybe what the puzzle looks like. Anyways, we'll we'll put in that blank spot there. That way we have three and three. Joe Carter. This no, it's not. But. And the final few cards, nothing. RJ Reynolds coming. Dennis Martinez. Dave Parker was a decent name. And that is it. Ending off with a puzzle piece. So no big rookie cards, unfortunately. We got some decent rookies, but none of those big talk name that we were looking that came out of this set. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and enjoyed the video. Or in void the end of this video to just kind of looking at my my PC cards there. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. We got some modern. Either hit some old junk wax again. Got a lot of it to get through. We'll get it figured out. Jumping back between football and baseball. I think we're going to go football next. Either probably... Probably some select or something. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a good day.